I know Crip Mac didn't just do that. I know the nigga that asked me, hey, hey, bro, hey, shitty, you want me to leave the door, man? The brims act like they don't want me to be here. You got whooped by the smallest brim in the dorm. He knocked you out. I let you lie on the on the shit. Nigga, Tiny E called in tripping because he dropped you, knocked you out. You got knocked out by Nutty. You got knocked out by Bad News. Nigga, you got knocked out by YC from A-Tray. Nigga, on the dead homies. And you was trying to roll it up. I'm the only reason why you stayed in the dorm, my boy. I know your big buster ass is not talking, you soft ass nigga. On the dead homies, a nigga played like he was from Uber, came up in the shop on you, you spooked, bro. Like, man, I know you not talking, gang. On the dead homies, nigga, you was the biggest bitch around here, nigga, in the county, whatever. Nigga, we be letting you play like you tough, bro. That's an act, bro. You retarded. Like, the homies let you go up, cuz, nigga, you really is a buster. You can't tell no nigga that was in the dorm with you, nigga. Oh, six so and Riddler gonna vouch for it. Any nigga that I call right now gonna vouch for it. And I just looked out for your buster ass, cuz. Enjoy that little, 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 uh, three, four bands I sent you, bro. Don't call me no more, cuz. Dead ugly, six so crib, nigga, you're a buster. You just let the Southsiders press you to talk about China, man. Let's be real, cuz. I'm six so the nigga apologized to me before the clip came in. Fuck. I know. What it do, y'all? It's coffee. Tapping back in, man. And this internet is crazy. The blogosphere just always be turned up to the maximum. And I don't know what exactly got Brick Baby tripping, what C Mac did to disrespect him, to get him, you know, upset as he's just totally uh took to the blogosphere here to dismantle c max whole image you know as we always talk about in this blog is fear ish you got individuals you know playing characters you got individuals really about that life whether it's in hip-hop prison content creators co comedians like it, every different sector of the blog is fear there's individuals doing all different kinds of ish you feel me and with c mac a lot of people were like yo it's like you know because he, he's such a wild personality in the blogosphere with the the lingo how he never ceases to amaze everyone with you know the lingo turning <clears throat> numbers to fives and words to c's and stuff like that it's just crazy like how, how does that man not miss a single um you know situation with the vocabulary to do that you know it's it's pretty impressive at the end of the day whether you fuck with him or not you know what i mean but to a lot of the cats in the in the in the gang culture they probably sit back and look and say man the internet doesn't change the game but basically um you know like i said everyone's always saying how official is he and there's been stuff that came out and said there was dirt on him and all that and then you got brick baby here who you heard him before i even listening to it i'm saying man wasn't he on the podcast with him you heard him say i lied you know because he was in there co-signing him and vouching for what C-Mac was saying, you know, as they were locked up together. And now he's saying, yo, I, I lied. I let you act tough. And everyone was knocking you out. And I mean, there's no shame in scrapping and taking an L, you know, uh, lacing up those Bob Barker uh, Chucks or whatever they got in jail out in Cali, you know what I mean? And shooting the fair ones with someone and, and taking an L, you know, like the shame is when you won't run run it with someone or you run away but he took it a step further and says c-mac was about to roll it up and pc it up but he stopped him uh saved him or whatever so i don't know when you hear that man what do y'all think about that because I, I know a lot of other people were probably thinking the same thing wait a second he's dissing c-mac what's going on what does c-mac say but also these cool these dudes were cool you know what i'm saying they were telling jail stories jail war stories together and now you know hey it was all cat man i was just letting you live on the podcast for entertainment's sake but a lot of cats i know are probably gonna say man uh you're losing credibility when you do that you know like uh the snoopy badass situation snoopy badass i don't not a fan of dude at all i don't fluck with him but uh you know a lot of people were trolling the fluck out of brick baby like yo you was all cool with dude and now you're on some other shit now granted he hadn't seen the paperwork he didn't know what the situation was really about but um i don't know man it's like gotta be tricky for anyone to be on a platform like no jumper you know what i mean always delivering the content there's a lot of drama going on and then you got someone like brick baby who 
has ties to the streets and gang culture and trying to create content and navigate through both worlds. It's got to be a motherfucker. But um, if you're lying and let people lie, I don't know. I got to feel like he's going to catch a lot of flag for that. What do y'all think about it, man? Now, let's see what individuals are talking about out here. You see Swamp Stories in the comments. Got to be trolling. You know, Swamp Stories had uh, super beef with C-Mac, went all the way in with a video as we were talking about people trying to decipher if Crip Mac was official or not, um, you know, or was it a little bit of both? And Swamp Stories took it all the way back and was really trying to dismantle any image he had as being thorough or in the streets. But he says, free C-Mac, I'm tripping behind my loke. Uh, off 55th Street says, um, I don't know. Um, I don't entertain internet-ish. Brick Baby says, jump off. Um, jump in this. Only jump in you, this if you know the truth. I believe that's what he's saying. What the hell did I just do? Um, hit my line. Uh, the Los Angeles Unlock TV says you a mark. You denied cowboy. You a mark too. You denied cowboys fade. Let's be real. You ain't been on the Ave in over a year. I'm here every day and you not. You two internet now gang since you joined No Jumper. LOL. Kelly dudes are something different. Brick. I fluck with you heavy, my G. But don't put the politics on the net. All this dude do is talk about his own homies and 60 dudes, but won't even politic with his real enemies. Turn down Cowboys fade. We still know the truth. Uh, Trevor be lying. That's uh, what um, Swan Stories kept calling C-Mac buying that infamous video where he was just trying to take him apart at the seams, man. Comment your thoughts on that, y'all. Uh, C-Mac not letting no dude say, and then you guys see that word, of course. Coffee's not going to say it, as always. I got to let it be known when we tap in on the content. I'm a square, you know, uh, just reacting to the content, going down and chopping it with y'all, the people, whether it's sports, music, news, current events, life, or anything else. So make sure you guys like the video, you know what I'm saying, to help me uh, break through that wall algorithmically. But um, also join the discussion and sub up, you know, for, for uh, updates and all that. But... um. You know, that's the situation I just saw go down another uh, content creator who, you know, is a part of uh, the gang culture, from my understanding, um, you know, did a video where Brick Baby let someone say a, a derogatory term like uh, for a, a gang or whatever. And when he was asking him for a cigarette, I think it was DW Flame. So, you know what I mean? He's saying, how are you going to do that? And then come on here and talk like this. And then um, y'all fans making excuses for C-Mac when he claimed six sets, had six DPs, and two put-offs. Brick made him look legit. It's over now. So, I don't know, man. Um, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Let's read the caption, and then we're going to close it out. Why this is, uh, he said to, to Brick Baby, said to C-Mac, why do you do this? And I know you know, LOL, you really got marked out multiple times you really believe the ish you be portraying bro you 30 talking about infant low general lol the tiny lokes want nothing to do with you hashtag don't be late so i don't know man brick baby going in on c mac says he gave him that cosign to help him shine when it was no jumper time and um i don't know you know a lot of a lot of individuals reacting a lot of different ways what is your guys thoughts about it tap in and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace and God.